So here we are getting to the final rigging now. Some of this I put on already because it was very simple. So I put on these pieces that go back to the back on either side, and then there's parts that go from the center section um, conning tower to the front. And then right along that right side, there are there's that piece that goes to the conning tower and that piece that goes to that conning tower um, to those two little pieces, those two little uh, bars. Now, uh, and, it, and it looks pretty good. But the next part is a little dicey. This piece right here. You can see that it has that triangular piece and then it goes down to the end and there's another one that goes to this part. So the question is how to do that triangular piece. So I cut two pieces of brass the right size, the same thickness as this little T that's at the very top. And I measured what I thought was basically when I, if, if I took that and rolled that over and, and connected those pieces, it would be about the right size. So I took my dividers and said, okay, from there to about there is going to be how long I want this thing. To the other side, same thing. So I just took those measurements and I ran them along four times to get a, a, an out and back, an out and back. One, two, three, four, and I cut this piece off that you see sitting there. In retrospect, it should have been a little longer, but optivizers were an absolute must with this. It really, really helped. So what I did was um, I took some glue and attached that to make a big loop. Um, a little bit. I actually have a little super glue over there. I put these two guys together and um, they held together. And I have this loop. And again, I think the loop should have been a little bit longer, but that's going to be that loop right there attached to the middle and then out to the very ends. Um, so the next step was to start to put that on there. So to that little piece, I put a little bit of super glue on one side. And I just took this thing with some tweezers. And I very carefully, um, you know, kind of stretched it out in the center. So I kind of knew where the center was. And I just touched it. And that super glue dries pretty dang fast. And just get it to the very edge of that um, brass T piece that we already put on there. And uh, let that dry. And then put some glue on the other side. Pulled the loop over. And did the same thing to the other side which I'm very carefully putting on right here. I don't know how much of this you'll really be able to see, but I still wanted to show you that this is what I did. Uh, it wasn't that difficult. Um, but this was a one way to do it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, and people who do this rigging a lot on ships would probably know. But now what I've got is a loop that goes down that way and one that goes in the front. I'm just stretching that out to see, okay, that's going to be the tip of my triangular piece. So I'll have to have a piece that connects... And then there's the front one that goes down that way, in front on top of the little gunner over there. So that gave me my um, middle pieces. See, I'm holding it like that. Now I'm trying to see how long do I need to get the piece that goes into the front. So I took my dividers, held that piece out, and I approximated how long that piece is going to be. Um, so about like that. So I take a piece of, of uh, elastic thread and cut it to that length. And that means if I touch that on that piece and then put the other end to the on, the on the loop, like right there at the end, and then put that um, up onto the deck where it's supposed to go in the front, I'll have it. Now I squeezed off the center with my fingers, so the little loop that you can't see now should be the exact, you know, the, 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 an even component of that little loop. And I'm just very carefully touching my long piece that I measured onto the tip of that loop that you can't see. Um, but again, this stuff dries fast and the elastic, it really sticks to the elastic. A little bit of zip kicker on there. And again, I apologize, you can't see it, but all this does now is give me a pigtail, see? Onto the end. And now, all I have to do is attach the other end to my uh, bow on the top deck over there. All I gotta do is stretch that down like so. And I'll have my first component started. So I uh, cut it with some scissors because it was actually a little long. I played with that to make sure it was right. 
and then once I got that in there, grab that, and then we'll see that will go right down, and it, it's right at the base of that one little railing. It should be right there. And the key is you don't want to pull too tight because you will start to sort of pull the like the, the the T piece that is on the conning tower. You might actually move it and pull it apart. So you got to be careful. So I put a little bit of super glue at the base of that little railing piece. Hit the end of the uh, easy line with the zip with the uh, super glue or the zip kicker, and then just touch it. And just like rigging a model airplane. Hold it for a few seconds, and that sucker is on there. So now you have that piece that's doubled, and then you've got it connecting up to the front, um, the front deck. And uh, that's all you got to do. Now here's a piece of brass, and I put a little glue on the end of it, super glue, and I kind of eyeballed where it should go. And this is the hard. This was harder, but it turned out okay. Again, maybe you do all these things separate, but I just kind of set it on one side. And held it and it dried um, pretty well and you can see that that piece is just sort of sitting there um, um, you know testing it here um, but you I basically put that in place um, right there and I think you can barely tell when I added it there it is and that actually just made, kind of made sure it was as straight as I could get it within reason. Probably wouldn't have been perfect in the real thing anyway. Um, then I put some glue on the tip of it, grabbed it in the center with one pair of tweezers, and then pulled the, the easy line over onto the end. And surprisingly, it all came really, really well. And there it was, connected all nice and, and uh, straight. Hit it with a little zip kicker, and then you have your um, that extra piece on there. So now you can see what it looks like. That'll get painted later. But you can see there you got your little triangle, and you've got your forward piece that goes up to the front. And again, I think I probably should have had them longer. So I think that piece is supposed to be kind of further over the gunner. But I figured, what the heck, not bad. So I did the same thing to the other side. Now, there's a little insulators that go down here, and I use some of the tacky glue on a big blob of big blob of it on the sprue and just touched it in three places, um, front and back. Take another big blob, plop it on there in the second place, and finally on the third place. And I built these up. So initially, they're kind of small, but if you do this a couple of times, you end up with nice little blobs that look like the insulators, or what I assume are insulators, um, along these um, aerials, uh, or these, these wires. So there's three of them right there. These will dry kind of clear. I'm going to paint them later, probably a black or dark gray or something. I did the very same thing on the other side. Uh, this is just based on the drawings that are on the plans. Um, I looked at pictures of the different boats, and they're... There's different numbers of these and different locations, but I'm basing this on the little plans they had in the in the model. So there's one, two, and then number three right there. And again, you can stop when you want to. This stuff shrinks a little bit, so um, I had to end up putting a little bit more on, um, and uh, it seems to look pretty good. There I'm just painting the brass to make it gray so it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. And then um, the top of the triangle that's on the top of the conning tower, I did the same thing. I painted that. That's pulled sprue. But I painted that. And here I am painting the other brass piece on the rear end there. And um, just a little care needs to be taken. It's a little dicey. Um, and here I am putting a second little um, sort of coat to build up the blob of glue. Seems to work okay. If you get too much on, you can take it off. Um, no harm done. And uh, actually, it's actually really good. You can actually see this is against my shirt. You can see the white and see what they look like. So I built them up to what I thought the size should be. And they should have dry automatically as little circles. And um, I think they approximate things pretty well. So there things are, and they're uh, not quite dry. But um, there they are. Three there, three there. 
and then I've got my brass pieces for my horizontal components. And uh, you can see that uh, there it is basically rigged. There's two more pieces of rigging I need to put on, but uh, dang, it's gone really well. And the more stuff you put on these, the more interesting they get. I really like my crew members on there and my flag. So we are very, very close to the end of this one. I can't wait.